What's up guys? We are back with another fantastic car. This is the big one. This is the big kahuna, as they say. This is the one everybody's been waiting for. UFC 300 going down this weekend from Las Vegas at the T-Mobile Arena. And like I said, I've been saying, Dana, Hunter, Sean, and Mick have outdone themselves. You know, this year, I feel like it's just they're trying to blockbuster cards after card after card in these pay-per-view events. So UFC 300 packed full of champions, former champions. And I mean, it's crazy. It, it, it's, it, it is crazy. All leading up to the main event, Jamal Hill taking on Alex Pereira. Um, you know, let's jump right into the card. Um, I've, I've given a, a couple of different breakdowns, as you guys would see in some of my other videos. Uh, if you want to see a full breakdown, you go to the Pound for Pound uh, site. Make sure you like, subscribe. Uh, on there and uh, as well and you'll get a full breakdown but this I want to hit y'all with my quick picks going into this I mean first fight and I mean this is early prelims fight you got former champion Cody Garbrandt taking on former champion Davison Figueroa I mean Figueroa what an incredible card this one is closely contested uh, they both have power they both got speed but I think uh, uh, Cody's a little bit faster, and I like the adjustments that Cody's been making. He's slowly starting to find his footing again and get back on that winning track. So um, this one, it's a tough one. It's close, but I'm going to go with Cody Garbrandt on that one. Next fight, we got Bobby Green taking on Jim Miller. <sighs> These vets, both, both, I think they're in the same spot, both, you know, tightly contested. Jim Miller, I think, has the grappling edge for sure, but Bobby Green is not easy to just get down like that. Bobby's going to move. Bobby's going to be fast. He's going to be very elusive, and he's going to make it difficult, and he's sharp. He's long, and he's very, very sharp. I, I, I definitely I, I want to go with Bobby Green, but with the, with the way that Jim Miller has been fighting lately, and it's not just his grappling. You know, he's, he's hard-nosed too. He can take a shot, he can bite down, and he can walk through what he needs to walk through in order to get a hold of the guy. So this one's going to be a close one. If Bobby Green doesn't catch him with something, I'm going to go with, uh, I'm gonna go with uh, Jim Miller for this one. Next fight, two women that I love. I'm a fan of both of these girls. Jessica Andrade taking on Marina Rodriguez. Man, this is such a really, really good and close fight. Jessica Andrade has the power to really go to the body, come to the head, and, and I mean, this chick's knocking ladies out, standing. She's putting, dropping them, putting them down. So it's a tough one. It's Brazil versus Brazil. I think I think Marina. Yeah, she's tall. She's long, and I, I think she's. I think Marina gets this one done. I think she gets it done. I think her more time makes a, a, a difference. And especially with Jessica coming out of the uh, loss to Jan, which I think might have been a, a little bit ago. But I'm going to go with Marina on this one. Then we we'll go to the early prelims headliner. We've got Jalen Turner taking on Hanato Moicano. This one is a banging fight. And this is going to really show who's really trying to make, whether Hanato is trying to make that kind of reemergence in that lightweight division, or is Jalen Turner trying to really emerge and, and, and arrive as a contender. In that, in that division. So um, the tough one, but I'm going to go with Jalen Turner. I think he's just a little bit more, just a little bit more tools. Even though Moicano definitely, you know, if things aren't going right on the feet, he can definitely take the fight down, as you saw in his fight with Drew Dober. But I'm going to go with Jalen Turner. And now we're going to go into the prelims. I mean, look how banging this card is. We're just into the prelims right now. We already got amazing fights. But prelims, first fight, this is... I think this might be my sleeper fight of the night. You got Sadiq, my boy Sadiq uh, Youssef taking on Diego Lopez. Diego's hot. He came into the UFC on short notice, and he's been on fire ever since, just finishing guy after guy. And you've got Sadiq. Sadiq came into the UFC hot as well. And, you know, he's kind of been a little bit up and down. But I... I there's no time like the present to, to really uh, start to make a, a statement in that division. So this is a tough one. 
It's really tightly contested, but I'm going to go with my boy Sadiq. What, you thought I was going to pick against Nigeria? The Chris? Eh? The Mad? Never. There we go. Oh, man. You got Holly Holmes, former UFC champion, taking on Kayla Harrison. I mean, the amount of gold medals that these ladies might have at home is insane. The amount of trophies they might have is insane. Holly Holmes with over so many boxing world titles. Kayla Harrison with two Olympic gold medals sitting at home in judo. Both are MMA champions in their in different respective promotion in UFC and, and in PFL. This is a tough one. I like both girls. I like both ladies. Um, this one is just going to purely be be off of... of Hard. I think I'm a little. Cl I'm, I'm a little closer with Kayla. We share the same management, so I'm gonna go with Kayla. But this one's a tough one. Anything can happen. Anything can happen. You've got Kelvin Cater taking on out Jermaine Sterling. It's the Boston taking on New York. Hmm. Al Jermaine making his featherweight debut, and Al Joe's a. He's he's tough when he he can get that. If he can push you forward and push you backwards and get that takedown, Aljo is very, very tough to deal with. <sighs> Coming off of uh, the loss to, to, to Sean O'Malley, <sighs> it's a tough one. This is a tough one. This is a wild card pick, but I'm going to go with Kevin Cater for the upset on this one, I think. I'm going to go with Kevin Cater. Then you've got the feature prelim. You got Yuri, former light heavyweight champion, Prohaska taking on Alexander Rykic. Uh, um, it's a good one as well, but I think uh, Yuri is just a little bit more dynamic, a little bit more unorth unorthodox, and strikes come from, from just weird and different angles. Rykic has the ability to, to do whatever he needs to do to win the fight, but I'm going go to I'm gonna go with Yuri on this one to, uh, to pull this one out. Now we slide into the main card of the night, UFC 300, and UFC know what they're doing with this one. You know, you put Bo Nickel, you know, relatively uh, new guy, but hot, streaky guy, and you put him in there against uh, a guy like Cody Brundage, Brundage, who's his game, his game opponent. I'm not completely counting this guy out. I know uh, the odds say that he's a plus 1100, but I'm not completely counting him out. Uh, if I had to, to if gamble, which I don't really, but if I had to, obviously plus 1,100, like that's a, a no-brainer. But my pick for this fight, I'm going to go with Bo Nickel. He's explosive, he's young, and I think he's, he's kind of at the forefront right now of the new wave of wrestlers who are now carrying that torch for American wrestling in the sport of mixed martial arts. So, you know, I'm going to take a step back and let these guys do it. I got Bo Nickel. Then you got lightweight bout, Armin Sarukian taking on Charles Oliveira. We know what we're dealing with here with this fight. We know what we're dealing with. This is it's too hot to handle. If I had to pick, I'm going with Armin Sarukian. I think he just is a little bit more well-rounded than taking the fight to the ground and controlling position. So I'm going to go with Armin. Then you go to my main event, the people's main event, Justin the Highlight Gaethje taking on, I love this guy, Jerome Max Holloway. It's a bittersweet for me. But everybody, you know, I got to ride with my brother, Justin Gaethje, on this one. Um, and, and everyone has been seeing the improvements that he's been making. I mean, he is, he's, he's really finding his stride. And, uh, you know, the boys might be doing something good down there at, at Onyx Sports down there in, in Colorado. So uh, I'm going with Justin Gaethje. Cold main event of the evening, we got Zhang Wei Li taking on Yan Sanan. It's all Chinese affair. My ladies are, 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 are these, phew, both of these ladies are, are, are carrying really the flag and the torch for, for Chinese MMA right now. And, and man, I couldn't be more happy with, um, with this. I mean, how often do you get this? The first time in history, I think, in the UFC. So it's a tough one, but I watched Zhang Wei, Zhang Wei Li pick up Dr. Shaquille O'Neal, that's no easy task. I, I might throw my back out trying to pick up Shaq. So I'm gonna go with Zhang Wei Li on this fight. Then we'll come to the main event. We got Alex Pereira taking on Jamal Hill. Alex Pereira, if it's just a kickboxing affair, I'm telling you right now, 
Alex Pereira, I think, breaks down everybody in those upper weight division, almost everybody. You saw what he, he did with the uh, um, former uh, middleweight champion Israel Adesanya on two separate occasions. But of course, my man Izzy had to avenge himself and he did a great job with that. But Alex Pereira is, uh, you know, very, very well rounded. But there's something about the conviction of Jamal Hill when he's, he's talking about Alex Pereira. You know, of course, he's, uh, you know, as a champion, you, you say what you need to say to sell the fight. But I, I, I see something in the way he believes that if I touch this guy, I will put him out. Is is really, really, it's really, really got me there. Had it not been for the injury that he suffered, coming back from an injury like that, I, I think it takes time to be able to be quick twitch enough to be able to cut the angles, set the angles, and especially a kickboxer in the caliber of of, of the caliber of Alex Pereira. I, I just, for the sheer fact alone of coming back, I don't know how it's going to look coming back from that injury. I'm going to go with a guy like Alex Pereira, who is great at attacking your legs, especially that calf. So I'm going to go with Alex Pereira for the win to cap off an amazing card, the, be the biggest card ever the UFC has put together. Um, it's going to be incredible. This Saturday, make sure you tune in. Um, T-Mobile Arena. UFC 300 and guys make sure you go and like make sure you go and subscribe to this channel We're gonna be dropping a lot more content and yeah, of course Make sure you let me know in the comments as well what you guys might like to see all right UFC 300 this weekend Let's go